What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today if you guys noticed, on Android and iOS you had a very new resource download, and that's because the thing we've been talking about for days now, hopefully you guys have been checking it out, is the update to the Fantasy Arcade. We now have Flora's Cat Craft Workshop, so that means you now have a lot more things at your disposal, including more rewards if it's something you feel like chasing, me personally. I don't uh but again it's kind of an interesting side game so what's going to happen is day one you're going to have what looks like this again your main goal is really going to be uh you want to get produ production going, so you want to try to get these resources as fast as possible. However, when you start, you have absolutely nothing. The most important thing to do, number one, is start opening up more pieces on the map. You want to be dragging these things all over the place. You want to try to find duplicates that are going to open up a lot more space on here because you are definitely going to want that space. Uh, there are a couple other things here that they give you that let you just combine immediately and create uh, production facilities essentially. Let me see, we can do this over here. I don't think there's anything higher than that tier from the looks of it. So yeah, we're gonna have to keep our eye out for a lot of things because they do give you some stuff right off the bat, but then other things like you see, we're kind of at the stopping point right now. Now, typically what I do is I like taking most everything and putting it in the bank until I'm ready to use it. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using these resource creators. Now these here take these bread resources and you can see we have 22 of these today. So let's just go through and get all these done. Now don't immediately start combining these because again, there's something that's very important to do. You need to find any of these that are floating around and you want to fill them in to unlock unlock everything now that we've unlocked all of these then it's fine to go ahead and do some combinations because combining these things will be fine be getting some upgrades here and then once again once we have these pieces here you're going to want to go around try to find additional pieces that need to be unlocked here and uh, keep progressing on with your expansion because it should only take like the first day to really expand everything out and you'll notice here I think I got everything for the cookie stuff so yeah we can keep on building this out here uh there is actually yeah hold on there's some pizza things left there's a couple pizza things that i have not fully unlocked now that looks good and then from here on out you can do a couple things one is you're going to want to keep combining things uh the most important thing is going for orders now these top orders are cool just because they get very quick coins coins are going to be needed to uh, do things like upgrade your, your main building and such. Uh, but the good orders are the bottom ones because those are the ones that start giving you the secondary resource, Stonecraft. Stonecraft is what you're gonna be using in the store as well as unlocking a lot of things in your game. So yeah, you can keep an eye out, you can try to do these. These are gonna be very difficult to try to accomplish in the first day besides like a couple of them. Most of these are gonna be way out of reach. So if you want to try to do some of the quick, easy ones, then that's not a problem. I say that is fine to do. You can go ahead, we can do a bunch of combinations here, get everything done up, and then we can combine some more, and we can see what we actually have and what type of orders we have at our disposal too. So we can combine all these. Looks like we got pretty much all this stuff done there. We can combine these over to here, which makes a bigger pizza, all that fun stuff. So now we have a bunch of stuff chilling over here. And this guy is now on cooldown. Now, if you take a look at the list, uh, one of them that's pretty easy is this cake here. Or a cheesecake, I guess, because that's the one that we just created upwards. Uh, another one we could have gone for was this. We could have created up. But you'll notice I did make one mistake. Oh, actually, there's still one locked down here too. Darn it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we could possibly work on the t the cooldown timer it on it soon too. If you actually drag this back out or actually click it out and then go to this, it shows you the cooldown on it and all that fun stuff before you can use it again. So this is something you can literally play all day long off and on if you have the energy to do it. Uh, we could also focus on this one, but that is the cat food. So I think for the time being, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna upgrade all these to here and then I'm gonna make one of these a higher cake and then we're simply just going to save all this stuff once again we're going to drag it all over save it up and work on the next thing which i think is going to be the cat stuff <laughs> essentially i always think of this one as cat food that's pretty much what it feels like here and as you use these resources and uh, pull them out of the scratchers and stuff you're going to get some extra bonus stuff one of them is of course increasing the cooldown on all of your items you want to make sure you wait to use that for a little bit let's again 
go around this map here try to unlock everything that's possible it should be pretty easy from the looks of it there we go there's some bigger fish we need to do as well just get them all unlocked here and that's good for the moment so we don't really have any orders for fish stuff right away right i don't think any of these are this one yeah, this one might be. So we can go up to this here, which means if we start combining stuff even more, then we can do bigger upgrades. We can actually do this right here and this right here, which again is gonna get us more unlocks and we can keep combining, increase these, and there we go, we got that. So that one's a good one. I wanna hold on to that for sure uh, because we will be able to use that pretty much right away. And we have some cans of stuff. So once again, once we have that done, I'm going to go ahead and just transfer most of this stuff over while leaving a few things kind of just sitting out and about. The next one is we want to work on the next one. Again, this is another 20 things that you can kind of pile out. Again, our main focus here is to unlock as many things as possible. I did mess up a little bit, actually. Uh, I can bring this back out because I can find there. Uh, but yeah, sometimes, sometimes you mess up and you miss some things that are easy to unlock. And it's just is what it is at that point if you mess up you mess up don't worry about it it's not going to put you too far behind just keep playing have some fun with it uh that one again is on cooldown now so we can continue to combine things there is one clothes one to do but it's going to take a very long time to upgrade your clothes right here uh, there's also this one here the luxury one again it's going to take quite a bit so don't feel bad about just combining and chucking stuff together because you're probably going to be doing it for quite a while uh, so don't feel bad about taking them to too, to too high of a tier. It's probably not going to be too much of a problem for you. You see, we got most of this stuff done here. And at this point, we're pretty much on cooldown here. We're, we're kind of just chilling. We don't really have much to do because we've used all... Oh, wait, no, we haven't. I'm sorry. We forgot. We got all the little seeds here. These guys are important too because that's actually one of our collections. You see on our order on the side there right above us, uh, there's actually a lot of them that we're getting pretty close to working with. So this one's easy. The fence field, literally the only thing you can summon out is this one item. That's, that's literally it. That's the only item. Uh, and then you just go ahead and combine all these up, turn them into the next higher tier, and you can probably get a couple orders done in the first day with this one, to be honest. I don't know if there are any of these things. There was, actually. So, yeah, we can complete that out if we want to. Uh, technically, we can complete this one, too, because we do this, this. Oh, there we go. This, this. And we can grab one of these out. That completes another order. So we can start collecting some coins up pretty quickly here. Um, not the super fastest, but again, we can then go ahead and combine all these up. Combine, combine, combine. And we can save up for something higher tier, uh, like the flowers down here too. So just keep that in mind. You can do a lot of this stuff right now. Now you can expand your space if you want to. It is going to increase the amount of coins you need every single time though. So keep that in mind as well. And again, you want to try to save up and try to build these things here as well, because this is going to give you higher output every 12 hours. You're going to get some boxes here that you can then claim over here. Uh, the store of course is going to be a very long-term project to get past certain roads that's going to give you the stars for the vending machine so keep that in mind uh, you can move this wherever you want as well if, it, if you just want to like tuck it out of the way that's something you can do too actually can you put it over no you can't put it over the cobweb stuff until it is cleared out so that's pretty much most of your first day however uh you do have your production facilities which i'm going to actually bring back out to show you something oh not you not you you and you yeah these are all of our production no god stop I keep clicking the wrong thing. These are all of our production facilities, essentially, that we have unlocked currently. Now, visiting other places is very important. These are going to be able to get you to basically get bonus stuff. Uh, when you use Mana Cube, you actually go to somebody else's grid and you freeze their stuff. Uh, but you claim up to five spaces of stuff completely for free. The problem is when you get something frozen, it then costs 20 of these to unlock it because it'll just be frozen on your map. So keeping important things hidden away can be a good advantage if you're playing competitively. Number one, use all of these as often as possible. The first one is a simple match game. So you're going to want to go through this and see what you can find. Uh, try to get it done as fast as possible, if possible. <laughs> If your memory serves you well, uh, then it shouldn't be too hard. Although for sometimes it can be a little difficult here. You can kind of click these as fast as you want to. They're not, they're not too bad. 
and there we go so we unlock that but now what we do is we get three random spots turns out we completely whiff that feels really bad but again it's just completely random how this works out go ahead and try to clear all these things out once again trying to remember where everything is on the map is also a fun part wait i know you're around here somewhere there you are uh da, 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 da. top one nope bottom one nope you're over here darn it nope you're not over there yeah there you are <laughs> i'm all over the place here today there it is there we go so we got all those unlocked again three pieces this is actually really huge okay so this is something i want to talk about if you get really lucky and you hit one of those production facilities you can do two things number one do not combine it immediately you're going to want to try to use this if possible uh one thing you have to be aware of is the amount of things you can do you can spend 500 coins which is very hard to accumulate for 50 of them uh yeah so you can make you can actually use gems to make up the difference i'm going to show you guys uh, but what that does do is it lets you to continue further on your progression because what you want to do is you want to take this use up all their attempts and then you can use it again by combining it to a higher tier production facility and that's going to really speed up this process here so if it's something you want to do cool but just keep in mind <laughs> just keep in mind it's uh it's going to cost you some gems and or coins the nice thing is it does let you use gems if it's a game mode you really want to push further you don't have to sit back and just wait for everything to kind of come off cooldown we also have these cooldown timer things that we're getting i'm going to show you the last thing as well uh, lots of fish here i wish there was an auto combine button to be honest that would be so helpful if there was we have so many fishies on the field keep putting those out all right and now we just go fish 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 <laughs> fish fish I, I feel like we're making fish sticks right that's what my brain's telling me is we're making a ton of fish sticks here and then we can go combine 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 <laughs> we got a lot of them right here not quite an even amount but uh, again you can take a look and see if there's anything you need for here which again part of the upgrade you want to keep an eye on are these again we want to get all the way up to the cat feed so we want to combine these all up that's something we definitely want to do and push it as high as possible we got a couple of these out here too so we can do this and right there we want to hold on to that because that's one of the very important parts we need to upgrade the other one is the cookie one we want to get the cookie one up to level eight that one's going to take a little bit of time um we do have some stuff that are kind of good but again you'll notice we're kind of at like a stopping point one more time we are kind of maxed out on what we have available to us. So the next thing you do, you go through and use more of these matching systems. Now the ice cube one's easy because it's literally just like you just click the blocks. And if you find something cool, if you don't, you know, uh, it's very quick to do these, which is nice. Completely whiffed on that one, which sucks. But again, kind of is what it is. You either get super lucky or you don't. Uh, we have some random fish still sitting here and okay now we do still have five more to go again i would go through and do this but one thing you can do is the production cooldown that's only going to be valid if you're willing to do this again you can spend uh how many how much is it 500 gems for each one uh, but by doing this mythical cooldown you're going to play this weird game you're basically going to click and drag or your hero around you want to avoid the bombs while getting as many bananas as possible you got to really be careful because the bombs if they even touch the like if they touch the avatar at all it's really tricky to learn how they work but if you can learn how to move the character real quick you can get a ton of resources and not hit a single bomb so you just want to make sure your hero does not touch any of those bombs with the hero avatar whatsoever if sometimes if you got to eat some bombs it's fine if it means you're going to collect like a ton of bananas right around it so uh, but the more bananas you collect the more important oh geez oh geez because the more points you get is the uh the cooldown and it helps your teammates or the person you're visiting too so you see the cooldowns have dropped a ton however if you don't have the food anyway for it and it takes some time so that is day one those are some tips and tricks on how to really progress in flourish craft workshop hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time